Now, let's just take it, for example, this is a container. And let's pretend that you're the container. And this little object lesson in our cooking show today is going to show you that what goes in must come out. So, start with your simple container. And then I'm going to take some fresh, clean milk. Do you like some milk with your cookies? Why do we always shake our milk before we open it? Have you ever asked yourself that? It ain't like there's chocolate or nothing down in the bottom of this. But I'm going to open my milk and pour it into the container. Oh, doesn't that look good? Mm, I wish I had me a big old piece of chocolate cake to go with it. Now, inside of this container is pure, clean milk. Now, what goes in, though, is what's going to be what comes out. So if I drink it up, see there? It's going to be delicious. Now, how about if I take some of my favorite stuff to put over ice cream? Chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Mm, I thought that you did. Let's say that we put, ooh, look at that good old chocolate. Now, remember what goes in must come out. Now, we will take the chocolate and the milk and shake it up. Shake, 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 shake your milk, shake, shake your milk, shake, 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 shake. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now, what goes in must come out. Let's take a sniff and see. Ah, delicious chocolate sugar milk because what goes in must come out. So whoever drinks some of this is going to enjoy it mighty fine.